Okay, guys. Hey, uh, hello, Facebooker. So Neil's yep. here. Hi, Doc. Hi. How you doing? I'm here, but I'm not happy about it. You answered the phone again, Doc. I you did. I never picked the, the phone, phone up. Right, call right. You. But really the reason, really, I'm happy is this is a nasty, Good. nasty storm, yeah. and it has potential to create a lot of, of, of yeah. damage. People are going to get hurt on this mm -hmm. thing, yeah. uh, and that's my concern today. Yeah. I'm so concerned about the people that live along the coast here. So specifically yeah. uh, for the wind threat, right. for a major Cat right. 3 hurricane, which is what Harvey is, we're talking right. Corpus Christi, Rockport, right. Right. Uh, even even Victoria, places right. that far inland. Victoria will have hurricane right. conditions tonight. Th that's the spot where we're talking about the wind, right. the hurricane force wind threat tonight. Well, you still got Port O'Connor down there. You remember yeah. that? Yeah. And, uh, yeah. Port been, Lavaca. Yeah. <laughs> okay. And they've taken so many hard right. hits over the years. Right. Exactly. And then what we've been concerned about up here is the fact that this, this the hurricane itself is forecast to stall as it moves right. inland. Exactly. And just before we went on air, you were right. telling me your right. memories of Beulah, right. 1967. Tell right. the folks about, uh, about Beulah. Yeah, 1967. You know, South Texas, if you go include Corpus Christi, um, they've had seven major hurricanes. Mm -hmm. One of those was in 1967. It moved inland past Brownsville and stalled mm -hmm. and rained 35 inches. Yeah. And there was a new lake down there. I don't remember the name of the lake, <laughs> but they anticipated that it would take, you know, it would take decades to fill it up. It filled it up yeah. in that storm. Oh, so, and that's interesting yeah. because it would rain 35 inches that's down right. there, stalling that's hurricane, right. then tropical storm. So that is a right. similar number. As that what we have been forecasting Absolutely. is possible here in Southeast Texas. The good news, if there is any with right. that here, is that this is going to be spread out over five or six days. Yeah, David, that's true. Absolutely true. But, you know, you remember back in Allison in, in uh, 2001, um, it rained 26 inches in eight hours overnight. Yeah. So every once in a while, even though you say it's going to be spread out, yeah. every once in a while you get these freaky things where just one band after another just right. kicks in that same, same area. So, so we you, get a lot of right. questions like from uh, Baytown or right. Tomball, and right. they want to know, you know, when is it going to flood or right. what's, right. When, what's it going to be like in my neighborhood? And to your point, yeah. you know, it was, the, it was that northeast side, yeah, that Greens Bayou right. watershed that had that 25 inch rental right. in one night. In one night. You know, the memorial area didn't flood. That's right. During Allison. That's right. They were like, what rain? That's right. So that's kind of the situation we're facing with this. Exactly. The, the threat is there. Right. We don't know exactly where it's going to take place. Christine, how about some yeah. questions? Hundreds what? of questions. All right, bring them. All right. Why haven't they called a mandatory evacuation in Galveston yet? Sure. Well, the surge threat yeah. is not large enough, right? Exactly. Uh, you, we don't have organized evacuation for inland flooding. Mm -hmm. right. right. The evacuations that we have in this country today are basically for the storm surge, and that would be on the uh, on the island. Right. The surge yeah. will be where, right where that center yeah. and, and within that's a right. few miles of the center moves in, and that's Corpus Christi. Right. For us, we're 200 right. miles away exactly. from the center, so we don't have to evacuate uh, the, right. the coastal residents, uh, except right. that there are some voluntary ones right along, like Baltimore Peninsula. Exactly. Highway 80, exactly. 87 may, right. may have some high water on right. it. Yeah. Go ahead, Christine. Audrey, she wants to know, is it too late to fly south to the Rio Grande Valley? Um, well, <laughs> to, 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 uh, oh, wait a minute, you mean to take a flight from here to go down there now today? Yes. It's, oh, yes. it's a rainy, bumpy flight. No, right. it, it's too late. The storm, the storm is here. I don't recommend everybody, right. anybody travel down <clears throat> across that area right now. All right, Julianne would like to know, what about Wharton, Texas? And, and this is, this is a it. perfect question because so, yeah. so you're asking about a specific area. So right. Wharton in general. Right. I expect you're going to get tropical storm force gusts, right. maybe not sustained, That's but right. tropical storm force gusts. Some weaker tree right. limbs could come down, so power outage is a threat. Right. And then you're included in this heavy rain right. threat that basically includes everybody from San Antonio to Lake Charles. Right. So that's, I hope that answers your question. Okay, Deborah would like to know, when is the hurricane going to be on land? Well, let's talk about the center. Yeah, okay. Go, <laughs> okay, go right ahead. Okay. So, so, the, so the center... The center, okay, will probably be on land. What are we anticipating? Probably early tomorrow morning? I think midnight or maybe yeah, 1 a.m. the center time. crosses. Right, right. right. But we're already experiencing... It's here, right. Okay, it's, 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 here. it's already here. And if yeah. you're down in Corpus Christi in Rockport, maybe you're, you're saying, hey, it's here. You yeah, know, that's okay. the thing. We kind of woke up this morning and the exactly. rain was already starting here in Houston. So it is, it is here. It's just that that, that one little that's point... Right that we mark yeah. hasn't crossed the coastline yet, but it will late tonight. All right, Samantha would like to know, what is the chance of it going to a Cat 4? 
it's close to Cat 4 yeah, pressure-wise. Exactly. The winds they've measured with the Hurricane right. Hunter, they haven't measured Cat 4 winds yet, but right. I think it's certainly within the realm of possibility. Right. You know, there's two ways of measuring the strength of a hurricane. One of them would be the winds, and that's what's happening. The airplanes are flying in at about 10,000 feet. Turns out that we have some research planes down there. I'm not sure what level they're flying. They may be at 5,000, some maybe yeah. 1,500. Yeah. <clears throat> but the other way of measuring the strength of a hurricane is to fly through it and drop this little parachute with a barometer on it, and mm -hmm. it tells you what the central pressure is. And there's a direct relation between the two. Mm -hmm. And the pressure goes down, the winds go up. And so the pressure now is down into almost to the category yeah. of a category four, but the winds haven't yet responded to that. Right. If it has enough time, right. they will. Right. But we're nearing the center heading toward exactly. the coast tonight. So it, it, to answer the question, it's right. possible it could go cat four. Right. Yeah. All right, wave hi to Linda Jones. She said she loves both of you. Hey, Linda. <laughs> okay. Thank <All> you. Right. <laughs> Amy would like to know, should we be concerned about the current track of Harvey going back out over the water and strengthening before hitting Houston? It's a possibility. Absolutely, no question about it. Um, what's happening is the steering currents that, that push these hurricanes along are, are about to disappear. Yeah. And so what we're going to have left is a hurricane that's just spinning around. It's like a top. You spin a top out on the table. It doesn't just stay stationary. It just kind of wanders around. And that's what this thing is going to do. It's going to start wandering around. Could it wander back out over the water? That is one possibility. Mm -hmm. And if that would happen, it might strengthen a little bit. I think if it, in one thing, if it did get back over water, it would at the least be able to become more of a coastal flood yes, threat exactly. as it came up the right. Texas coast. Right. And so, and this is going to linger possibly until right. Wednesday or Thursday, right. and that magnifies the flood threat. Absolutely. All right, Kyle Brock, would this storm be a candidate for the brown ocean effect? The brown ocean effect? Do you know what that is? Mm. No. Okay. No. Um, Jasmine, what about Porter, Texas, especially if we live in a trailer? Well, <laughs> so. It's, yeah. it, it, during, even during strong thunderstorms, right. it's not safe technically to be in a, in a, right. a building without a foundation. Right. And that's because right. they can be blown over. Absolutely. So I, my suggestion to anybody who's in a mobile home right. and anywhere in southeast Texas is that we do have the threat for, right. for winds that could blow your, your home right. over. If you can move to a, a, right. a structure that has a foundation, I would. I understand you know, there are some realities yeah. about it, but if you can, yeah. I, w I do recommend it. And you know, I, I want people to know that I lived in a mobile home at one time when I yeah, was in South, and um, we had a, straps that tied, you know, yeah. tied it down. But boy, I'll tell you, when there was a hurricane coming or even a tropical storm, we decided maybe it wouldn't be a safe place to be. Yeah, so yeah. Uh, the Royal Coach uh, Mobile Home Park on Greens Road Hello. Uh, I, I, I lived there uh, with my family when they were breaking That's ground right. on, on, um, on Greens Point yeah. Mall. Yeah, and we had the straps. Right. And I always wondered what those were for. I tell you, we lived on a lake, and my wife liked to never got me off of that thing. <laughs> <laughs> I could come home and be in a boat with about oh, five steps. Okay. And so, anyway. That's cool. So, mobile homes are a great way of life, but boy, they were not made to sustain strong winds. That's right. That's right. Christine, I've got time for one more, and then I've, okay. I, Doc and I've got to get ready for the 4 o'clock. Okay, Rebecca, is there any possibility Houston could be placed under a voluntary evacuation over the next few days? N not for hurricane yeah. conditions, no. no. I don't think so. If we get some sort of catastrophic right. flooding, then we'll just have to wait and see how that right. plays out, but not because of the wind. No. Because of that. 